Hi, so this is problem number 11 on centroid of plane figures. Uh, here it is asked to find centroid of the shaded area. Okay, so to find the centroid of the shaded area, while well, uh, finding the total area, no, we have to find the area of the shaded portion alone. So, in therefore, uh, in the total area, if you deduct area of uh, this uh, circle, no, you will get the area of the shaded portion. Okay, so here the circle is the unshaded portion and uh, and remaining components are having shaded portion so to get the area of the shaded portion in the total area means area of the uh, rectangle plus area of the semicircle minus area of the circle will give area of the shaded portion so there are three components in this figure and before that let me write the reference axis This is reference x axis and this is reference y axis. Then coming to the symmetry, the figure is symmetric about y axis, right? Centradal y axis. Here you can see dotted line is a centradal y axis. So this y axis dividing the figure into two equal parts. Therefore, the figure is symmetric about y axis. If the figure is symmetric about y axis, then x bar is known. X bar is equal to See, overall width is 400, 400 by 200 mm. So, in the solution, I will write figure is symmetric about symmetric about y axis. Therefore, x bar is equal to it is total 400 by 2 200 mm. 200 mm will be the answer of the x bar now we have to find the y bar to find the y bar so we know the formula y bar is equal to sigma a y by sigma a okay so we need area and y values area y and a y values so i have taken this tabla column so before that let me uh, take rectangle as component number one rectangle as component number one and semicircle as component number 2 component number 2 and circle as component number 3 okay and let me write the formula as well so if i take g2 as centroid of semicircle distance of centroid of semicircle from its diameter is always 4 r by 3 pi 4 r by 3 pi and from distance from this end point is always equal to radius okay then for rectangle it is b by 2 and d by 2 i am not going to write it and for circle always the, the center will be at its center only at its center only okay now i will take the first component what is that rectangle rectangle 1 area is b into d Width of rectangle is 400, depth of rectangle is 500, therefore 20,000 mm square. Y value for rectangle, it is dy2, 500 by 2, 250 mm. Then second component is semicircle, semicircle 2. Area is half of the area of the circle pi r square by 2 pi into radius is how much it is given as 200 mm 200 square by 2 uh, it is 62,831.853 okay then coming to the y value means distance of g2 from reference x axis okay so this is the y value this is the y value for semicircle from its base we know the distance 4 r by 3 pi but distance of g2 from reference x axis is pi and red plus 4 r by 3 pi therefore pi and red plus 4 r by 3 pi which is equal to 
500 plus 4 into radius is 200 by 3 pi. The answer is 584.88. Mm. Then the third component is circle, circle, and it is a unshaded portion. We have to take negative sign. So minus pi r square minus pi r square. So here the diameter of the circle is given. The distance from here to here it is given as 50 mm. So diameter is given, so the uh, radius becomes how much? 25 mm. So here minus pi into 25 square. The answer is minus 1963.25. Minus 1963.25, not 25, it is 75. Point 75. Okay, coming to the y value, mean distance of, if I take G3 as centered of circle, y for rectangle 3 means distance of G3 from x axis, this is the y value, this is the y value, so this, is, this distance is the y value, it is directly given here, 200 mm, directly you take 200 mm, okay, now multiply area and y, here it is, mm square, mm and millimeter cube, area into y, 20 lakhs into 250, so it becomes 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros, so here it is 3, 6, uh, Seven four nine zero nine four point one eight. So if you get uh, some difference in last one two two digits or three digits, no problem because it is a very big answer. Uh, the difference in last two digits or three digits that doesn't matter. Finally, you will get the same answer. Don't worry. Minus three nine. 2600 then you calculate the total area now total area is equal to 260868.103 then sigma ay is equal to 8635.103 Six four nine four point one eight. Okay, therefore, we are equal to eight six three five six four nine four point one eight divided by two six zero six eight two six zero eight six eight point one zero three. The answer is. Uh, 331.035 mm. Okay, so this completes the problem where y bar is equal to 331.035 mm and x bar is equal to 200 mm. Okay, if you have got any doubts in any of the steps in this particular problem, you post your doubt in the comment section. Okay, thank you.